श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कविताकेसरी वेदाताचार्यवर्यो मे सन्निधत्ता सदा हृदय ज्ञानदमय देव निर्मलस्फटिकाकृति आधारम सर्वद्यामयग्रीवपास्मे वंदे लक्ष्मी हयग्रीव पुरो मे मगदर्शक येनापक्वतिर्नून किंचिदूता संस्कृत अच्युत संप्रदायान्मा मुकुंद मे गुरो अरक्षतनुकंपाते पदमुसराम्यहम पद्मनाम गुरुम वंदे सदाचार्यमहम सदा कुलीनंदी सुशीलादिग्रह शुद्ध वैदिक वेदातलक्ष्मणमुनींद्रगपातबोधम तत्दुग्म सरसीह भृंगराज त्रय्युग्मतभूरी परश्रम तम श्रीरंगलक्ष्मणमुन शरण प्रपद्ये श्रीमद्वेदातराज कृपया रंगिणीस्तभार तत्सप्रातागमादय मनगणशिषता पूर्णमग्नि श्रेष्ठ श्रीरंगराज मुनिगणुनालब्ध मोक्षाश्रम तम सत्स्थ श्रीवराहमी वरमनघम देशिक संश्रयामी अस्मदुरपरंपराये नम श्रीमनभीष्टरद वामस्मी शरण गेहावसने मत्द प्रापय स्वय श्रीमनभीष्टरद वाम अस्मी शरण गेहावसनेहावसने मत्द प्रापय स्वय दिस् इज द फोर्थ वर्स इन दुति न्यासदशक न्यासा मीन्स भरण्यास शरणागति इन दिस् कॉन्टेक्स्ट इट इस मीन उपाय टू अटेन मोक्ष दशक मीन्स टेन दट पिच हेज टेन सो दिस् स्तुति बेसिकली हेज टेन वर्सस् ऑन द टॉपिक न्यास यू सीन द मीनिंग्स ऑफ द फस्ट थ्री वर्सस् हाउ टू डू प्रपत्ति वॉट आर द फै अंगास प्रपत्ति एंड हाउ दि भाव नोशन दट It is only Bhagwan who makes us to prapatti by giving the jnana, the right jnana to do prapatti. Now, <coughs> since prapatti is a means, <coughs> upaya to get moksha, what is the time frame? Because moksha is, as we said before, leaving the lila vibhuti. That is the prakriti mandala, the so-called universe, as we say. Leaving this and going to Nitya Vibhuti, Nitya Vibhuti or Sri Vaikuntha. So that means that means there should be a departure happening from here to there. So when will that happen? It actually happens at the end of that birth in which the Prapanna has done Prapatti, because the Shastra it says so. and there are some subtle aspects in this we will uh, go through the meaning of this verse <coughs> and then discuss briefly and then uh, see i mean uh, what 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 special thing is about the uh, <coughs> the time frame <coughs> shri man shri man is a vocative term he shri of pate अभीष्टरद दिस इज आलो ए वोकेटिव टर्म श्रीमन इज कैन से कॉलिंग बै नेम अभीष्टरद इज कॉलिंग बै मीन एन अब्जेक्टिव वरद मीन वन हू गिव भून वर वर मीन भून द मीन ददाती दह द मीन गिवर् धनद कुबेर इज कॉल डस् धनद धनम धनम ददाति सो अभीष्ट हियर अभीष्ट मीन दट विच इज सॉट सो द टर्म अभीष्ट वर्द टुगेदर मीन द गिवर ऑफ दोस् बून विच वेरी मच लाइक एंड सॉट बै दिवोटी नौ ऐ एम ए प्रपन्न इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू वामस्पि शरणम गता गता शरणम गता अस्मि शरणम गता मीन्स ऐ हव सरेंडर्ड शरणम अड़ेवन इकन तमिल इज अ ब्यूटिफुल लैंग्वेज टू ट्रांसलेट संस्कृत बट एनीवे इफ यू ट्राई ऐ थिंक वी कैन ट्रांसलेट इन अ वेरी गुड मैनर इंग्लिश आलसो सो शरणम गता मीन्स हव सरेंडर्ड 
ತ್ವಾಂ ಶರಣಂ ಗತ ಇನ್ ಯು ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವರ್ಬ್ ಅಸೋಷಿಯೇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಪುರುಷ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಹಂ ದ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ ಐ ಅಹಂ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಏತತ್ ದೇಹ ಅವಸಾನೆ ಅವಸಾನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಂಡ್ ದೇಹ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಏತತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡನ್ ಪ್ರಪತಿ ಮಾಂ ಸ್ವಯಂ ತ್ವತ್ಪಾದ ಪ್ರಾಪಯ ಮಾಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ತ್ವತ್ಪಾದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಪ್ರಾಪಯ ಯು ಯರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಎನ್ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ರೀಚ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬರ್ತ್ now the timing of mukti or moksha is left to the prapanna a prapanna can ask for moksha the very moment he does prapatti or a prapanna can fix a time frame but normally the time frame is fixed as the end of that birth in comparison to bhakti yoga we said before bhakti yoga is a upaya is an upaya to attain moksha in bhakti yoga the individual will plays a major role the effort of the individual plays a major role in prapati yoga the effort of the uh, prapanna does not play a role except for doing prapatti after that no so what happens when the bhakti yoga comes to fruition it's a long process it's not as e- easy as we speak in a 10 15 minutes uh, recording bhakti yoga is a long process it it, in- it includes karma yoga jnana yoga and then begins bhakti yoga when the bhakti yoga culminates the paramatma gives a glimpse of his own vision bashakara calls it as darshana samana kara darshana samana aakara darshana samana aakara once that is had that experience is had by the bhakti yoga nishtha at that point what happens is all his sanchita karma sanchita karma is those karma which one has done all along and has accumulated prarabdha karma is that portion of the karma which has been opened and whose fruits are being experienced and agami karma is those karmas which are being done and eventually they will go to the sanchita karma while experiencing the pra- while experiencing the prarabdha karma the agami karma they come up and eventually they go to the sanchita karma now this sanchita karma as an entire lot is destroyed by the greatness of bhakti yoga by bhagavan but it is because of bhakti yoga then the agami karma will not affect the bhakti yoga nishta no prarabdha karma which is the bag that has been opened and the fruits thereof are being enjoyed experienced the shastra says that except the except for the prarabdha karma all the karmas are extinguished destroyed so which means the bhakti yoga nishta has to has to be here in this world even taking the necessary number of births to exhaust all that 
ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ಕರ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಹಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೀನ್ ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಎ ಭಕ್ತಿಯೋಗನಿಷ್ಠ ವುಡ್ ಅಟೈನ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಲೀವ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಆಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಉಪಾಯ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಲೈಕ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಯರ್ ಟು ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇ ಡಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಹಿ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಟು ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಡಸ್ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಅವಿವಾರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಸನ್ ಮರಣಮಾನಾಲ್ ವೈಕುಂದಂ ಕೊಡುಕುಂ ಪಿರಾನ್ also one interesting aspect is that though we accept though we say that this samsara is full of sorrow and pain because of agnana etc the moment we realize we are dasa bhutas of bhagavan and we begin to live a life lead a life constantly rendering kankaryam to bhagavan and his devotees unto the bhagavatas the effect of samsara does not impact much this is not something what adiyan is saying but avars and acharyas in their works have indicated this tvam chet prasidasi tavasmi in varadaja manchashat swami deshikal says like this varadaja if you are always dear to me rather i am dear to you i am in your good books always if you give darshan darshan to me both we can say physically and in my dhyana also tavasmi samipatas chet i am closer to you and you are closer to me because archa avatar anubhava is something which is beyond uh, explanation archa avatar anubhava is uh, something which we have to go there be there during the festival times not only during festival times but whenever we want to have a have an anubhava of the archa avatar tvayasti bhakti ranagha if my bhakti is there faultless bhakti in you if it is there karishelu natha samsrijyate yediche dasa janas tvadiyaha if i get to rub shoulders with your devotees with your with, with the bhagavatas then this samsara is itself apavarga samsara yesha bhagavan apavarga eva this is shri vaikuntha prapti for me namma <laughs> varalso says inge therindirku irkutran what is uh, so bothering about being here provided that beautiful form of yours always comes to my mind if i can experience that form of yours if we can contemplate upon that rupa sundara rupa of yours constantly permanently there is no need for me to cross over and come to shri vaikuntha but even the acharyas even as the acharyas and avas say like that it is not easy for normal people like us the effects of our own karma and the effect of kali is very high so people like us bhagwan gives us some time until the fall of this body to kind of practice and become a good prapanna so that as we go there the transition time becomes very less you attain jnana go there on day one you get to render kankarya just i'm uh, saying these words in a humorous manner normally when we join an organization we are given training and all no so if you go to shri vaikuntha now we have to make use of this period whatever is left if we are done prapatti today until we leave we need to practice we need to exercise we need to prepare ourselves so that when we go there 
it's a smooth transition you go there and then we render kankariya to bhagavan and their devotees over there so in this verse just to recap shriman nabhishta varada tvamasmi sharanam gatah etad deha vasanemam tvatpadam prapaya svayam shriman okay to word hailing hey bhagavan ke hey shri pati abhishta varada who are you you are actually bestower of those boons which are very much liked and asked by the devotees tvam sharanam gatosmi now i have surrendered unto you etad deha vasane mam at the end of this sharira this body mom means me swayam tvatpadam prapaya because prapati is uh, my drakshara bhara is your responsibility this is also yours so let me not take any effort in this regard so please take me upon on your divine feet at the end of this body shriman plus abhishta varada has begun shriman nabhishta <coughs> the nakara the na as doubled shriman nabhishta varada otherwise shriman abhishta varada <coughs> etat deha avasane etat deha avasane just to help uh, the process of reading to some of you kavitar kigasimhaya kalyanagunashalne shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha